Hey guys, and welcome to Danger Zone. Did I get that right? Danger Zone, that's us. Yes, it's Danger Zone. Um, this is a, an interesting setup we got here. Um, basically, uh, once every 10 years or so, there's a, um, a gold, golden sea. And each of the pieces of gold in that sea is worth like 100 bucks. Mm -hmm. So people go out in their, uh, in their little boats to try to get it, but the sea is very rough, so they wind up getting knocked off and having to get onto rat. Anyway, long story short, um, we want to get as many of those gold pieces as we possibly can. Um, and uh, the uh, big complication is that there's no quarters here. There's just the gold, um, which can't be used as quarters and the sea. So we may wind up, fortunately we have a number of these, uh, um, a number of these quarter boxes. Perfect. Excellent. So. Um, okay. We have 20 minutes. It was a $3,500 buy-in. And here we go. So I dropped some quarters already. I'm trying. So I, um, I hear you're going to have this really wild batch the red party with uh, goats. Goats? No goats. You said goats. No, no, I, I beat up the goats. You said goat yoga. No, I said no thank you anymore. I said you're all nuts. I said if you want that at a bachelor at party, have it at your own. I told them. I don't know. I don't know if it's a real gatcherette party without goats. No goats? Maybe a... Um, no strippers? I was going to say a stripper that's three goats in a trench coat. Nope. Just a lot of fun, mimosas, and fun. I'm just going to get very drunk and call Chuck and say, I love you. That's actually my, my two maids of honors. Yeah. They said that. They were like, Brittany, like... We we're wondering how long until you say, okay, I want to go home now. <laughs> Is it the first day? Because we're going for... How long are you going for? From Wednesday to Monday. Oh. All right, that's when Eric is taking your place? Yeah. Oh, uh... Which is good, because it's not much. Yes. Ow! And, um, because I am crazy... Yes. I'll still do the ordering. Even on my bachelorette Oh, trip. thank you. She means uh, stocking up Aaron's house. Because I need to make sure, even though I'm not there. Yes, I was going to say, wherever you go, Britt, I'm sure you're ordering someone to do something. I need to make sure that he has what he needs or I wouldn't feel good. No. So as that gets closer, just might remind me of whatever Erica needs in the house, too. Yeah. Ow! I know, sorry, I'm so sorry. This one for some reason really makes me throw them at you. I don't know why. I think you're just, uh, you have latent hostility that you're taking at it and you might throw in quarters at my feet. John, if I did, I wouldn't tell you. If I didn't, I wouldn't tell you. So, uh. either way. What am I going to say? Unfortunately, it doesn't count if we get the uh, little uh, drafts to shore where you think they'd be safe. We have to get them completely off. Okay. Hey, well, we're certainly clearing off the gold. How, many, how are we doing on quarters? We still have like half a cup, which is good. But you're right, though. It's a pain in the butt. If I keep dropping them, then we don't have that many quarters. Right. So stop dropping them, especially not on me. One for the machine, one for the toes. So I think you're going to want some, one of your bridesmaids, and then I can tell you which one is going to wind up getting strippers. No, no, no. I actually have like a fear and disgust of them. Strippers? Sorry if you are a stripper. I'm so sorry. But yes, I do. I have such a fear of them. Why? What are they likely to do? I, I don't know. I just think they're yucky. Well, how about... Because I'm 12. I'm really 12. 
I assure you, I knew many 12 year old girls who would love to see a strip trip. Really? Yes. No. Um, well, what if they just got three people in frog costumes to sing you a song? No. But they don't take them off, they just sing. No. That's weird. Maybe they could get a guy who shows up in his underpants and puts his clothes on. My mom's, okay, so my mom's best friend, she's crazy. Yes. Okay. So this is like the third person you've described as crazy, but go on. We were at a like a friend's like luncheon thing in Brooklyn here in Brooklyn right. favorites, Gino's we went to. There was a garage sale right on the corner and somebody was selling Halloween costumes. One of the costumes happened to be a pickle costume. A pickle costume. Pickle costume. I, oh, we could get R in a pickle costume. I think R in the pickle costume. Maybe a French fry costume. She has now told me that she is dying the pickle costume black. And he's going to wear it to my wedding because it's a, a black wedding. I literally told her, Denise, stop taunting me. Then she wants my mom to meet her in North Carolina right. so that they could go to South Carolina and show up as, as the pickle to surprise me on my bachelorette trip. I Look. said, Mommy, if you want to come to my bachelorette trip, you're more than welcome. But the pickle, the pickle needs to stay home. Yeah, you're reminding me of a story a friend of mine told me of her bachelorette party. Mm -hmm. It was one of the traditional ones where they open gifts and then pass them around. Oh, okay. And pass them around. I didn't know you could gifts like that. Yeah. But... And what if her friends got her, like, the absolutely slinkiest possible lingerie? lingerie? And the thing is, her mother-in-law to be was at the bachelorette party. No! How and it's awkward. passing you around and she's getting more and more nervous and it's getting closer and closer to the mother-in-law to be. Right. The mother-in-law picks it up, looks at it and says, ah, so much money for something that just lies on the floor all night long. Oh, snap! Way to go, mother-in-law. Yep. Do we have any quarters left? Yeah. Um, oh, okay, good. What was the buy-in for this again? Thirty-five hundred. Okay. I mean, if we can start getting things off, that'll be easy to make back. But the question is, running out of quarters. I think we're gonna get some gold pieces down and keep. Huh? I think we're gonna get some gold down. Wasn't that the point? Ow! How many quarters do you think I dropped today? If Let's you're see. watching this, count it, how many times John said ow and tell me. Well, I'm not saying ow every time. It doesn't hurt that badly every time. I would say that like seven of my toes are now numb. So at least seven oh quarters. Goodness, are you cold? Because sometimes if you're cold, your toes can go numb. I'm not cold. I'm not cold. I'm I'm quarter wounded. Um, no. Oh, we just wanted to remind you that um, Britt and I are running for president. Not against each other. I'm no, 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 no. I yes, she'll be my VP. I'm. We're running on the coin pusher, on the coin pusher ticket. Because we think we can eliminate all taxes and just put coin pushers everywhere in the country. Yeah. And you guys we'll just, bought into Bitcoin, you could bet, buy into this. We can buy into do Bitcoin pushing. I love it. Ow! I'm going to rename this, I'm going to title this game, Ow. Not a post. All right, John. Yes, dear. Get a bin and let's clean this out. Okay. Okay, guys, so uh, um, we got how many quarters back? Three. We got three quarters back, so we're going to have to spend one of our quarter chips. Yeah. And get a half, a bit, what amounts, to, see, they, they use smaller cups anyway. Long story short, we get half a cup. Do you need the cup? Um, it's easier if I have half a cup. Yeah. No, that's good. Yeah. So, 
John, when are you going suit shopping? Well, the wedding before yours is, um... Are you going back to the same place we took Iron? I'm thinking. Just I'm remember, just... it takes three weeks to get your pants on, remember? Right, so I'm going to go soon. Um, and I'll maybe go to the one in Atlantic, Atlantic Center. Okay. But I'm going to get um, a black suit, black shirt, black tie. Oh, you're going to be all black Black tie, out. black shoes, black socks. That's my kind of outfit. Yeah, goth. Goth. Put a little eyeliner on it, right? <laughs> yeah. I'll have Aaron do my uh, fingernails. Oh, he picked out black for me. That's part of the deal. You get to pick out my nails. Doesn't also, I'm always confused, but doesn't black tie also mean tuxedos? It could. Okay, but, but not a, to, I'm not going to get a tuxedo. Yeah, I mean. My weight changes too much to spend that much on something. Honestly, if you want to Besides, I'm already, already Aaron already calls me Daddy Penguin. I don't need a penguin Stop. suit. If you wanted a tuxedo, yeah. Macy's, you know me and my sales, yeah. always has them on sale for like two hundred and fifty dollars. So are you going to? Uh, are you going to go um, getting a wedding gown, or are you going to uh, um, wear a tuxedo to your wedding? My wedding dress was right. not on sale and cost a lovely, pretty penny of ten thousand dollars for a dress I'm going to wear once, once. with a veil of the same matching beading. That I'm gonna wear for two hours for the whole lovely price of two thousand dollars. My mother fainted. She was just like, "If this is what you want, I don't know how I'm gonna tell Daddy." Yeah. Well, you know, honey, we were thinking of putting, of offering to put your kids through college. Yeah. But no, not now. You spent all, you spent their college fund on your wedding. That's the way it is. Yeah. Just save your wedding dress in case you have a daughter who wants to wear it. That's what my mom said. My mom goes, it's a dress that probably won't go out of style, but you never know. Well, that's good I think we're getting some good gold. All gold is good for I mean, we're getting a good amount of gold. Oh, well then be more specific then. We're getting, a, we're getting a lot of gold, okay? I don't, don't even know if we saved anybody's life. I don't really care, actually. Me but it's not me. It's not you. We don't have to worry. Yeah. Ain't my family. Is it your family? No. Then Maybe we, we could feast off their corpses. No. Oh, wait. Who's saying that? Who was just saying that? Maybe if the people run out of gold, that's what they'll do next. God, that's gross. Yeah. It's gross. The coin pusher party does not support the notion that anyone is eating cats, dogs, or each other. Yes. We are totally against that yes. baloney. Yes. But we are, ironically, in favor of people who eat baloney. I like baloney. Are we allowed yeah. to eat baloney again? Is it also a scary list? Well, it was only Boar's Head in the first place. Isn't Boar's Head who makes bologna? They don't make all bologna. Oh. Oh, Oscar Mayer does. Yes. It's not the greatest, greatest dish. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, Farmer Con, if you do wind up getting an infection of some kind from some sort of anyone's meat product, um, then uh, get your doctor, send your prescription over to Farmer Con. Mm-hmm. Best pharmacy in in, uh, in Brooklyn, in New oh, York, in the world, really. Yeah. Um, it's on Fifth Avenue in Brooklyn, between um, um, 80th and 81st. Or if you're walking the other way, it's between 81st and 80th. Yes. And they will do almost anything for you, except. Uh, Get the um, legal things. Yeah. Well, they won't, you know, sell you. Uh, a vial of spider blood like we um, we got had last week. Oh, yeah, whatever. Well, no, I, don't, I can't even remember the order of these things. Um, but at some point, we're going to get a vial of spider blood. I was thinking actually it would be funny um, to uh, put it in one of um, my prescription vials and put a new label on it. Mm-hmm. 
and then put the bottle of uh, spider blood inside the prescription and send it, and send it to Pharma Company to note the owner, John. It says, hey, John, for once I'm sending you a prescription. Oh, dear. What do you think he would say? He would laugh. He would laugh. Thursday. Why are you telling me that? I'm asking. Oh. Well, then ask. You just stated it. Here. I'm putting in one quarter in this whole game. Oh, did you want to play? Not enough to mention it, apparently. We have just over three minutes. Oh, do you want to play? You know, I think I'd rather pout. Okay, good. Because we're in crunch time, and you know, sometimes your fingers aren't that quick. Well, if you don't like strippers, I'm going to have to get Chuck a whole new, a whole new present. What? Well, a stripper outfit. I, I was going to get him a stripper outfit. Uh-huh, no. No nope. strippers. Outfits? No. Nothing. And I'm out of quarters. We should do a cleanup. Yep, okay. Be right back. So we didn't get many quarters back, but we only have 90 seconds left to play, so. It isn't worth spending a whole. No. Yep, we have two more of those that we picked up in game after game, and they let us carry it over from game to game. It just doesn't take sense to waste. Yeah. For 90 seconds. A little game I call Watch Brit Play. Well, Brit just ran out of quarters. Well, we have four seconds left. Three, two, one, so. Alright, they last them long enough, I guess. Okay, um, we're, um, there's still a lot left in there, but we're gonna count up and hope we made our 3500. I hope so too. Well, guys, we didn't do terribly. We rescued um, two people. Just, you know, let's take a moment because everybody else drowned. So that's a thousand dollars. Yep, they're alive. A little squished now that I dropped them on their heads. But we, um, when we came to some coin, we got seventy-one of them. So that's seventy. One hundred and seventy-one. One hundred and seventy-one. So that's times a hundred would be seven eleven thousand seven hundred? No. No. hundred and seventy one times one hundred. Oh, we're so silly. It's seventeen thousand one hundred. But we also got the thousand dollars from rescuing the people. Is eighteen thousand one hundred dollars. Minus our thirty five hundred buy-in. Minus the 3500 buy-in brings us to 14600 So we got 14600 out of this one. Um, and just, we have to cash out because we're over the limit. Yeah, we're going to have to cash out. Oh, pay dues. Let's pay dues. We're coming towards the end of the month. Well, we still have, we have, um, we're almost at 10000 in the account already, so mm -hmm. um, we might as well just pay the dues out of that. No. Why? Pay the dues out of this. Yeah. Because we're gonna get taxed, which is very heavy. So right. we pay the dues out of this, which are, which are already heavy. Right. If we keep it on account, it doesn't really take any money. So we're gonna pay the dues out of this, yes. and then whatever's left over, we'll decide. Yeah, but if it pushes our account over, over. Then we'll uh, cash out after the dues. 
Why don't we just take it all in cash and start over so we can stop worrying okay, about fine. it? Okay, fine. Okay, we're going to take it all in cash. Um, we're uh, going to go... Uh, you know, I think we're um, going to... Uh, uh, pay off Brittany's wedding dress. Sounds good. Yeah, it, that's what I was going to say. Yeah? Yeah, I was going to say we pay off, but um, but just to teach her a lesson, she has to buy her own veil. Fine. Uh, um, so uh, we did really well today. Um, you know, the dues here are pretty heavy, I got to tell you. So I'm um, just... The pay-to-play around here is uh, atrocious, so don't think... Don't think that we have enough money that we'll lend you any. No, we don't. But if you subscribe, we'll think about it at least. Um, and uh, share yes, and so share alike. And uh, it's time for Brit to say... Ciao, ciao for now. And I'm going to say cha-cha because Brit makes me. Yes, that's very true. And we'll see you next time on Danger Zone. Bye now. <laughs>